What if I told you there is a machine out there that would help you solve your automation issues and your workforce issues? Well, I'm here at Mitsui Seiki here with Terry and Barton. We are talking about a machine that does just that. But first and foremost, gang, how are we doing this morning? We're doing great. How are you? Hey, it is well with my soul. And we're standing in front of a machine that we have to know more about. You gave me a little bit of insight mm -hmm. on automation, how this is really solving that workforce development problem. I need to know more. So in the past, you know, uh, jig grinder operations has been a highly uh, operator involved operation. You know, it takes a lot of skilled manpower. It's hard, It's really difficult nowadays to, to find a, a, a good machinist. But when you get into the jig grinding operations, it's vir virtually impossible to, know, to get somebody that knows how to do that and do it on a daily basis. So this machine was built to be able to try to automate that process. Of course, we're never going to take the operator out of the equation because, you know, when you're trying to grind a hole to less than half a micron, it's really difficult. And, you know, you have to have the machines that can do that. And then so this machine, we've, uh, we've got it dedicated more that you can have one set up, probe everything, set all the offsets, and then grind all the holes in one shot. This machine's got 53 millimeters you travel, so you can do a, very, uh, a wide variety of hole diameters with the same wheel. There you go. It seems like you're also reducing the amount of work handling that's being done, which saves time, yeah. reduces the operator error, all the above, right? Exactly. You set up one plate, it's got 13 different diameter holes on it. Instead of having to change a wheel for every hole, reset offsets, you can do it all in one shot. And then I'll let Bart talk more about how that is achieved. Hey, well, then let's not keep him waiting. He's hot to trot, ready to roll. You're standing in front of this controller here, which I know is a large part of what makes this machine work. But you see a lot going on here. What's different? What's special? What's unique? Right, so uh, typically with jig grinding operations, it's the last step of the process for a lot of parts. And so the acceptable scrap rate is zero. So with the automation, what you can do is set up uh, macro programs and you grind the hole, come in with the probe, check the size, make your fine adjustments to uh, get it right to the size. You know, you have a good part every time when it comes off the machine. You can probe it after it's done, you can check the part you know it's good before you even take it off the machine. Yeah, which is great, that confidence that you're bringing to these operators who are doing risky things all day, trying to stay within tolerances, trying to not scrap parts. But let's be biased a little bit here today, Bart. I'm curious, with you having your hands specifically in this technology, what do you think is one of the top items that operators are paying attention to when it comes to this technology? So one of the things that sets us apart is we have conversational programming with the GMAP software that's built into these machines. And so what you can do is go into the conversational programming page and you select the cycle that you want to do. So say we want to do a round hole, it's all picture based. We select that, it's a through hole, we want to do planetary grinding. And it's just that easy. It gives you the list of parameters that you need to set, pictures that explain it all. So it makes setting up your programs very easy for the operator. Man, making setting up programs easy, solving workforce problems and making it easy, but also making automation easy. Hey, we're here at Mitsui Seiki rocking it out at IMTS. This is Eddie with MTD CNC. Hey, we'll see you next time.